Hi, good day everyone. So my name is Meditya Wasesa. I am a faculty member by the School of Business and Management at the Institut Teknologi Bandung, Indonesia. And today we are going to discuss a popular technique in the decision analysis. The technique is called the decision tree. Yeah, so let's start. So we will start with an illustration. Yeah. So in any decision context, uh, we have a decision maker. Let me see here. Yeah. Who has several alternatives. Yeah. And he should decide which alternative offers the maximum benefit for him. Yeah. Which alternative will lead him to the predetermined objective yeah for example in this uh, illustration we have a person who would like to go to a specific destination then and, and there are three roads road a road b and road c and he should decide whether road a or road b or road c will bring him to the specific uh, destinations with the shortest traveling time for example the road which offer the shortest traveling time will be selected for example yeah in a business management context we have also quite similar context yeah for example this decision maker right now is an investor yeah he should decide whether the money should be invested to company a company b or company c yeah? And based on the expected outcome or the, the, based on the expected uh, benefit that he will gain in company A, B or C, he will decide which company he will go in. For example, company C offers the highest expected uh, market capitalization. Or we can also take another example. For example, you are in the marketing business and you are the marketing director for this specific company nah? and then you also have a specific uh, amount of marketing budget and then you have to prioritize your budget to uh, conduct marketing campaign and then uh, the decision will be would you like to prioritize the marketing budget to social media for example or to press or to direct marketing campaign and so on yeah? and the decision which the marketing director will take is certainly the option which will bring him the maximized outcome in these terms uh, probably the marketing outcome will be measured by the expected a new customer acquisition yeah and then we can go on for the third example for example you're the, the manufacturing director of a specific company let's say a, a personal computer company and then for a specific component for example a fan yeah the computer fan you have to decide whether you have to produce the fan or you can opt for another option for example for example, uh, procure the fan uh, via outsourcing means that you buy or you, you outsource the, the fan productions into another plant. Yeah? That's also a decision context. No? You have to decide which alternative which will offer you the greatest outcome, yeah? which, will ben which will bring you the maximized benefit. Yeah? For example, if it if the outsourcing, if the criteria is the quality of the the quality, the practicality, and then the cost of the uh, goods procurement, you might choose you may choose the outsourcing option is more beneficial than internal uh, manufacturing conduct. For example, yeah. So and there are a lot of problem context yeah which uh, require decision making conduct okay